Hello, we came here today with an episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and today we're back on the world to get some more work done. And today's little project will hopefully be, at least, uh, working on the little plaza I wanted to do, kind of design up a few episodes ago when we were working on the Megalania. Why? I don't know. I just think it'll be a cool little thing. It'd be a nice little way to kind of round off this section of the Ice Age Park, which I think would be a really good thing to do because it's kind of open-ended here. I mean, everywhere else pretty much has a good, like, dead-end kind of stop. I mean, or it's like over there where it just kind of loops back around. At the Mammoths, it ends in the tunnels. So, yeah, we got uh, most of the park ends pretty well. This area still needs uh, a bit of decision-making, though, and, like, a bit of design to kind of make it fit real well. And, yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, so it'll be a little bit of terrain work, a little bit of bridge building, a little bit of plaza building little bit of decoration should be a pretty good thing build overall um and yeah <laughs> man it, it's blowing my mind guys i think after this but we only have like two episodes left before the world download and world tour episode which is it's pretty crazy pretty crazy indeed um i think i've only got two more pro i i do only have two more on camera projects planned uh that being the botanical garden and then i think i have one other idea that I'm still kind of considering. Um, but anything else, um, and I'm talking like even just like extending the terracotta up a few blocks and like melting it into the mountain. Uh, none of this is gonna be done on camera just because I don't really have time to like, you know, set up a ton of episodes of just doing random things. So uh, between this episode and the world download, I, well, actually between last episode and the world download, I'm basically just gonna be finishing up a ton of stuff uh, just to kind of get it done so that way when we come back for the world download everything is in a pretty good like pretty good place and ready to go so yeah anyway I'm gonna get started on the plaza kind of lo start lining things out and setting it up and I will bring you guys back in when I have gotten some work done on that so I'll see you guys in just a second okay everyone here we are and this is the beginning, I guess, of what I've been working on. So, obviously, to get a plaza put in, we needed to raise the ground level a bit because, well, it meant I didn't have to fill in all the water or mess with the water and I could just build on top of it, which is something I would vastly prefer to having to mess with water. Um, oh, I forgot to, ah, well, I've got, oh, I don't have enough stairs. Rip. Um, let's see. We do like that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll get more of these volcanic stairs. I'll need to get more anyway. Um, but anyway, uh, as you can see, I have gotten to work on laying some stuff out here. One being this side of the rock wall. Uh, that is kind of meant to be, you know, the new natural barrier between this and this to kind of, I don't know set it up more against this side and stuff. Although this side's made of stone, this side's made of terracotta, but I think it'll work out pretty well, hopefully, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm also laying out, obviously I already said the, the new ground level, all that. I'm not really sure what materials I'm gonna make the plaza out of, if I'm gonna use just the same old wood and we're just gonna make like a big open pathway basically or if I want to go in with like some other blocks and make a pattern. Not really sure yet, still kind of figuring that out. You might be like, oh, why is there so much, uh, you know, space right here between that edge of the rocks and this area? Um, that's mostly because I feel like it would be nice to put some trees up here, kind of, you know, make it look really pretty. So that way, when you come down here, all the way down at the bottom of this area, where our plaza will be, you know, it's also kind of nice looking up there, and it's not just looking at like a pathway. You know, I think that should look. I think it'll look really nice. Hopefully, it'll look really good. Um, obviously, I don't exactly know how it's gonna look, but it should be pretty good. Um, as for what's gonna go around here, I'm not really sure yet. I, I don't. Or I highly doubt we'll get to it before the episode 100. Um, but I'm sure we could put like a small food court down here as well, just like a small like selection of fast food type places like over here or something already like over here and that would solve the you know like why there's a plaza here but i think i think it's a pretty good idea and especially since we're kind of we might be doing something similar like right over there by the dodos as well you know 
So I think that should work. Um, a few things I'm not sure on yet. Uh, one of them being, I might just remove this part of the fence here and instead just hook it up to the rock wall instead. So like from there to like there. So that way, I don't know, it adds a bit more space onto the exhibit. I'm also not really sure how I'm gonna do the rock walls over here. Um, Cause it probably does need to connect uh, across and over into the terracotta. I'm just not really sure how I wanna do that yet. Uh, and I'm kind of figuring that out. But anyway, that's that, that's what I have so far. I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, hopefully start filling this in and making it look a bit nicer. So I will bring you guys back when uh, there's something to see. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back and a lot of progress has happened. I'm gonna clear some stuff here. All right, there we go. Uh, gotta have that. I don't know, I, I don't like having stuff in my hands when I'm recording for some reason, it's kind of weird. Anyway, any hoozle. I have done a fair bit of work, except for over here. So just forget this exists for the time being, okay? Because I have done a lot of work. Starting back here, I have built up this cliff. I did connect the fence up and it didn't add tons of space, but it did add a nice little bit of extra space. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, again, though, not like the Elesmatheers actually, uh, you know, leave their little corner at the back of the exhibit. Um, I've added in the leaf, bush, hedge thing, yes, railing thing that we always do. Um, I have finished up the pathway, I have added in the grass, or, well, the dirt. It hasn't actually really become grass in all the parts yet. Uh, built up all the rock walls, everything. Like, it, it's starting to look really good. I'm really happy with how this is. Um, like I said, it's, I don't know, it's just starting to really come together now. And I am really happy about that. I think I need to, yeah, I need to make the height. I don't, okay, like over here it's pretty good because uh, it's not just like a straight line, but over there, yeah, I might need to do a bit of work to kind of mess with the terrain heights there to kind of make it look a bit more interesting. Um, so, so far also, this is the plaza itself, um, and I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with it for now. Um, I have some ideas, um, I might take, well, I was going to say take an idea, I mean, it's basically just, I, I might do like a statue over here. I was going to say I I'm taking that idea from Ave, but my friend Ave, but he did like a whole custom model, custom texture statue thing. I am just probably going to put a skeleton over here somewhere. I was thinking, and I'll have to finish, finish putting in all the dirt and filling in the grass, but I was thinking I might put something like a koi pond over here, because we haven't done a pond in a little bit, and it might be nice to throw one in there, just to kind of give a bit more interest to this back area. Uh, and we might put like a little dirt path. Maybe we'll make a second little botanical garden down here, just like, maybe not a botanical garden, but like a nature path kind of thing. Just a lot of flowers and some small trees and bushes and whatnot. Um, you'll also notice I haven't actually put in the floor for this yet, and that's because I don't know if I want to do a pattern yet or not, and I'm kind of deciding on that. But yeah, overall, this is what we have. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get to doing plants today, like trees and stuff, uh, just because that takes a while and I'm not sure I have time. But, over but overall, I'm pretty happy with how this is all turning out. I think, I think this little project was a really good idea, just because it's... I don't know, it's just adding in a nice little bit of life to the area and making it look a bit nicer. Also, it was interesting, if I run all the way over here, wow, that's a big lag spike. Um, you guys will notice, well, the rock wall doesn't actually continue past that point, but because of that dark oak tree and the fact that, especially with shaders, I guess, it gets a lot darker in the forest, it's not like super noticeable that it just like is a dead drop off. It kind of fits to, it kind of looks like it's just fading in and out. And I, I really like that. I think it works really well. Yes, that means I probably need to do something similar over here. And to be honest, I'm kind of thinking with this area, since we already started a big rock wall type thing over here, um, continue if I'm gonna bring a rock wall over that side, it's probably just gonna be taking out the entire fence on this end and just connecting it up there. Um, and yeah, which is again making me think, whoops, did not mean to fall in here, that this half of the bridge really should be its own exhibit for its own animal. Again though, I don't really have an animal to throw in here, so we're gonna just have to hope 
fossils in archaeology add something and there's no ladder in and out of this is there i never put a ladder back in there used to be a ladder but i yeah i, I just removed it yeah when i was redoing this ah well we can just mine our way out quickly it's not like the Lasbatherium is gonna get out or anything. Um, there we go. All right. Yeah. Overall, everything's looking pretty good. Here's a. We haven't looked at the dodos in a long time. Man. Oh wow, it's <laughs> kind of blows my mind sometimes looking at this whole build, like or this whole area project type thing. It's just what, like forty episodes, forty episodes, and we've built just more and more detail. In in forty episodes, we've put more detail more work and built better exhibits than we have in the previous like 60 pretty much like we have just put so much hard work into this area and i have to say i am incredibly happy with how it's turning out i think this was a really good idea and yeah i'm i think it's definitely going to set the precedent for the rest of the zoo or dinosaur park or whatever this is just because yeah it just i don't know it, it it looks awesome in my opinion um with that being said though if you guys have any ideas of things we can improve feel free to let me know i'm always up for knowing things that we could do to improve this. I know buildings is one we need to do more of, uh, like bathrooms, food places, stuff like that, which is kind of what's going to happen in this area. We'll probably put bathrooms and whatnot over here. Um, probably all along this edge, because I don't really think I'm going to add in any more exhibits along this way. I am thinking, though, if we get a lot more Ice Age creatures for some reason, uh, we can probably expand out this direction uh, across the river, and that should be plenty of space. Um, but yeah just gonna do this because I can um but yeah I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this so I guess the rest of the episode is just gonna be me trying to well, well I'll bring you guys back when I've kind of set up the rest of the plaza probably gotten some benches tables maybe some umbrellas statue and we'll see if I do the koi pond or not that's just kind of like a an extra thing if I don't add it in the episode I'll probably do it off camera so anyway I'm gonna get back to work and I'll bring you guys back when I have something to show and we're back, and I have maybe not finished the plaza necessarily, but I've done a lot of work, and I'm actually surprisingly happy with how it's turned out. It's not the most advanced build, it's not the most complicated, but I think it's, I don't know, I love it a lot, and it's very different than what I thought it was going to be. And also, you can see the sun is setting, and normally you'd be like, oh, okay, you're going to go complain about that. No, today we're actually happy about that, because if I quickly just turn around here, da 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 this is the plaza, as I've kind of re- Oh, wow. Major lag spike there. Um, oh, spooky skeleton in the woods. Um, but this is our plaza, and I love it so much. I, I really do. I think the fairy lights really just, mm, just really make this awesome. I love this central just, like, pylon that they all hang from. I think, I don't know. Again, it, it's not the most advanced build. It's not the most complicated build. Uh, but I don't know. I think it just works really well. It's a nice looking eating area, uh, which is certainly. Oh, wow. Again, the lag. Um, huh. Why can't they hear damage or anything like that? That's weird. Wow, it's basically just footsteps. That's all I can hear? What the heck? <laughs> Wait. Why is all my sounds off? What the heck? When did that happen? All right. Huh. That literally must have happened between when I finished building and started recording the, but that's very weird. Why is it lagging? I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is the plaza. And actually, I'm gonna go sleep, so that way we have some light so we can see it better during the day. Um, oh, creeper. Wow, man, my PC is struggling. Ah, whatever. Um, I do have mob griefing off. For those who don't know, I think I've had it off since like day one or something, so yeah. Whoa, what is with the world stuttering like this? Man. Is my PC okay? Doesn't sound okay, actually. Actually kinda sounds like it's chugging. Whoa. Did something happen? Let's go to video settings real quick. It's like my render just it's only on twelve. We'll pull it down to nine and see if that helps at all. Man, what is going on? That's very weird. Maybe some programs running in the background or something. Who knows? Um, but anyway, I get, we only have to show off the thing now. So 
Yeah, um, we still have all this space back here and I have left a gateway open uh, to kind of work on all this when we get around to it. Um, in fact, I'm considering that this may not be the only plaza in this area and that this may just be the eating area and that we'll kind of do some like statues and the koi pond over here and kind of build all that up later. But yeah, for, for just this little build, I think it looks really nice. I think it's quite quaint and it'll, it'll be a really good thing to work into with other stuff. I might change the roofs up a bit. I mean, I can always come back in here and add more detail if I want to. Uh, but I think it'll work really well with eventually having the food stuff over here and then garden stuff over there and then obviously exhibits here and maybe eventually exhibits over there. I think this is a really good little area to have and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think, I don't know. I always get really excited about doing little builds like this because I think they always bring so much life to the park that it, it didn't have before. Anyway, um, because the world keeps lagging like this, I'm going to end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy. And until next time, guys, see ya.